The city of Elizabethton and Ballad Health announced today plans to repurpose the former Franklin Fitness Center into a community center. The fitness center is on West Elk Avenue in Elizabethton behind Sycamore Shoals Hospital. The fitness center will also be the new home of the city's Parks and Rec Department. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry spoke with city leaders tonight. Jayana. Sarah, the Elizabeth and Parks and Rec Director, Mike Maines, says they have been looking at the facility for over a year and feel like it would be a great fit for the community. We're excited, you know, our department, we've been in a facility that we've outgrown. There's numerous needs there to, to fix different things within the building. Parks and Rec Director, Mike Maines, says acquiring the former Franklin Center will help them provide more programs to the community. We could offer meeting classrooms, we could provide more programming, uh, more fitness programs uh, for our community. Maine says the center is located in a great spot by other recreational activities. We've got close by our, uh, the Franklin Pool that we operate. We have six pickleball courts close by, then the Tweezy Trail, and then the Linear Trail. Hopefully one day we'll connect to this site too. So it's a beautiful setting, a beautiful facility. Ballad Health says this partnership will also facilitate a vision to develop the surrounding property into basketball courts and other recreational opportunities. Ballad Chairman and CEO Alan Levine says, in my 10 years here, I can think of no partnership that has been as productive and positive as the relationship we have mutually shared with the great elected and city leaders in Elizabethan. Their vision to expand recreational opportunity for children and families is precisely the type of shared goals we have for the community. As part of the agreement, the city will acquire the facility for $500,000, which is below the market value of $900,000. Our mission every day is to, to come to work and provide our community with a better quality of life, and, and we see that in this building here. City officials will consider the final deal at the November 9th Elizabethan City Council meeting.